Hey guys, what's up? Brian here. Thanks for tuning in today. So I'm on my way home from my father's house. I was uh, over there actually trying to finish up a video that I meant to put out tomorrow and had some uh, difficulties. So unfortunately, I've got a new video that I'm going to put out tomorrow and we're going to talk about kind of what happens. So let's get this going. Hey guys, what's up? Brian here. Thanks for tuning in today. So like I said, I'm on my way uh, home from my dad's house. I was just over there trying to finish up a video that I was trying to get out and uh, I needed some video clips and a few pictures from his bike because he's still running the stock airbox and unfortunately since I've got a V-back, that's not, uh, I wasn't able to get the clips that I needed for this video. And I was gonna borrow his bike and just kind of bring it home. But as I got there, we pulled off the tank and as soon as we pulled off the tank, the elbow popped off. And I know that uh, we've been seeing a lot of this lately, it seems like, and it's a huge problem. We got a guy named Matt who actually had his pop off as he was riding and caught his bike on fire. You know, I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. You know, this is something that, in my opinion, should be recalled. So I'm on my way home now and I'm going to actually fill out a form that they have on the National uh, Highway Transportation Safety website and I'm going to try and fill out a form about, you know, recalls on this because this is absolutely ridiculous, you know, and it's just dangerous for us to be riding these bikes like this. So I'm going to, you know, if, if any of you guys have had this happen yourselves, I'm going to leave a link down below to where you can go on and fill out the form yourself as well. And you'll just need your uh, VIN number, your make, model, and year, I believe, of your bike. And, you know, hopefully if we can get enough of these people, you know, filling out these forms, we can get something done and... You know, maybe they can recall these bikes and have them fixed in the future so that we're not riding around on, you know, bombs waiting to light on fire and blow us all the fuck up. So, and you know, you hear a lot about, you know, a lot of these guys fixing this with, uh, you know, epoxy and JB Well and everything like that, which, you know, to each their own. I'm not going to tell you one way or the other how to fix your bike, but the part is under $20 to fix it. And I just don't see the point in rigging something up when you can actually have it fixed the correct way for $20 and have that peace of mind knowing that it's done right, you know? So, I mean, if you are in a bind, you know, you're stuck on the side of the road somewhere, you know, to get it home, you know, that's one thing, but I would still be purchasing that part as soon as possible, at least if it was me. You know, so like I said, I was in the middle of working on a video and I think it's going to be one that's actually going to be really good for you guys. You know, a lot of you guys that haven't got the uh, big air kits yet, I'm doing a video over how to do a nice, clean, do-it-yourself, uh, either VBAC or big air kit, either one. You can use the video to do either one. And it's going to be a nice, clean setup and it's gonna show you, you know, step-by-step -step instructions. So be sure to watch for that. Like I said, I wanted to put it out tomorrow, but it looks like it's actually gonna be next week before I can get that out. I'm gonna go ahead and we've got that part hopefully coming in and I can get his bike over to my house, hopefully in the next few days and get that made up so that I can get that video finished up and edited up by next Monday and get it out to you. So guys, you know, I really appreciate you tuning in today. Like I said, you know, if you've had that problem with that elbow, do me a favor, you know, scroll down in the description below, follow that link and go ahead and fill out one of those forms. And maybe we can get this recall work done on these bikes so that a lot of these other guys won't be facing the same problem. Um, other than that, guys, you know, be sure to like and share this video. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead, scroll down, hit that subscribe button and that bell. That way you get notified to whenever my new videos come out. 
try to get them out usually once a week every Monday and uh, hopefully I've got a series coming up that I'm going to be putting out on Wednesdays too so be watching out for that you know other than that guys we'll see you next time